Good morning, Northwestern, and thank you for watching Eagle 7 News. Last weekend was hoops hysteria. This Saturday was a good day for men's and women's basketball, but also for prospective students. Hoops Hysteria is one of two athletic recruiting events for prospective students. With more details, we talked to the man putting it all together, Micah Stelter. First thing we do for them is give them a campus tour. And then that campus tour is led by admissions ambassadors, which are student workers in admissions. And uh, they're great. So they get that current student interaction on a tour. Um, they can go to the basketball game. And then we provide a whole lot of pizza which is always good and it's free. We have halftime contests. Some are dash for cash where we spin people around and have them pick up money off the gym floor. And then um, we do a contest, a shooting contest for free books in the bookstore, $500 towards books. And then uh, we have a contest that they could possibly do, which is uh, free tuition. It's been uh, around for quite some time. It's a long standing tradition at Northwestern. Uh, it's kind of a crazy name, but we love it. Coming to this event, you know, it really solidifies that they want to go to Northwestern because they see how awesome our community is. Also this weekend, there was another special event going on. You may have noticed the coaches wearing tennis shoes. We talked to head coach Tim Gross to get the breakdown on what exactly that was for. All levels of college basketball are, are sporting tennis shoes with their suits. And uh, the reason we're doing that is to bring awareness um, to cancer research and trying to find a cure for cancer. We're trying to do our part to help promote and raise money too. Both teams ended the night with victories over Crown College, the men winning 79 to 65 and the women winning 97 to 68. From Eagle 7 News, I'm Hannah Hagley. Many third floor residents would say the highlight of dorm life is the annual celebration of Kanuha Day. Kanuha Day is a really fun way to feature all of the different halls in Kanuha. So there are two different parts of Kanuha Day. Every hall in Kanuha will pick a different ministry and then we design and decorate our hall based off of that ministry. Um, so then anyone who wants to can come and walk through the halls and um, just get information on that. There might be things happening, might be things all over the walls, but it's just a way to um, learn more about different organizations. This year the theme is um, Heart for Our City. So we're all picking different organizations organizations or ministries that are based in the Twin Cities. They can vote on the hall that they want, that they um, want to support, and then they can bring the money down to the Student Center. They'll tally up the money to see which hall wins, and then whichever hall wins, the, all of that money is pooled together, and then they can donate that to their ministry. And then we'll all get together, and each of the halls has a, a dance or some sort of feature and there will be a performance happening at 8. I chose Living Hope Ministries. I know that a lot of students from Northwestern have done tutoring through them and also helped out with sports camps and youth um, activities. My hall is going to be um, helping support Breaking Free, which works with um, women in human trafficking. I'm doing the Union Gospel Mission um, nice. for the Twin Cities cool. and I know um, lots of different people have been involved in that so I'm just going to um, touch on the different aspects of that organization and um, just get people um, to know what it's all about. I guess just going to have to come and see. I would say come and you'll see. After yesterday's snowfall, hopefully things will be looking a little bit better here with our forecast. We'll be down at 6 degrees on Friday, a little bit higher on Saturday, and hopefully on Sunday that groundhog's going to be seeing his shadow, so this winter will be officially over. We'll be coming back up for 15 on Monday and carrying out the rest of the week with a little bit lower weather than that. Back to you, Karina. Thanks, Jordan. What happens when a couple of guys get their hands on a bag of marshmallows? One student's crazy idea went viral and has been receiving national attention. Our Kent Svensson went to see what the journey was like. There are many talented people on campus. One of the most innovative talents ever captured on video is one made popular by Northwestern's own Jonah Traseth. Schmallowing. It's the art of catching a marshmallow in one's mouth using various creative trick shots. Traseth, a sophomore and a couple of his friends, thought of the idea over a year and a half ago and decided to put the thought into action. Uh, my friends and I were at a graduation party and there was marshmallows for s'mores, but there was like two bags so they had way more than they needed. Um, I started like tossing them up to myself and I could catch them. We just got to the point where we couldn't go any farther so we decided to go over a house. That's where schmallowing was born. The next logical move was to make a schmallowing video. 
A year and a half later, on the 1st of January, it was uploaded to YouTube. My goal of the year was to make a viral video, and I told my friends I was gonna do something, but I didn't know it would be schmallowing. I was really surprised by the response. We actually, my friends and I just would send it to different websites just to see if they'd like it, and just kind of started to promote it a little bit. And one website picked it up, and that just led to an explosion of websites. The Good Morning America morning hosts, some of them actually tried schmallowing um, on a video, so that was really cool. Just the impact it has, and it's cool to see people all over the country trying smelling. I decided to test out my smelling skills. Ah, ah, no. Ah, ah, dang it. Ah, hit my face. Ah, I suck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. Ah. The popularity of the video is still climbing, with now over 13,000 views on YouTube. But Trasseth says he's not done yet. We've got a couple ones in the works um, involving vehicles and some other things that will hopefully be a surprise, but there'll be another video. Reporting for Eagle 7 News, I'm Ken Svensson. The men were contacted by a representative for Jimmy Fallon about appearing on his show. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but they considered the recognition a success. Wow, that's that's really impressive. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon. That's of all crazy. People. Yeah. Did you know that he's moving to a new time? He's gonna be on the Tonight Show is shortly. That, is that real? Hmm, yeah, he's moving from that. the late night. Jay Who Leno knows? show. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's gone now. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all the news we have for you. Be sure to check us out online and tell us your story ideas. Thanks for watching Eagle Seven News.